What's up guys, it's Blake, and in this video, I get brought into the FBI burrows because they suspended my license, but then they catch me driving around in my friend's car, which is definitely some very shady stuff, so they bring me in. But the FBI agent who's dealing with me says that he will only take me to federal prison if I don't throw him a surprise party. And as my character Chuck finds out later in the video, that is something that this certain FBI agent is known to do. Like, everybody has their thing around the office. Somebody might be the chatty person, another might be the cool person, there's always an annoying person, which is usually me. Uh, but this guy's thing is that he tells people that he's gonna bring them to federal prison if they don't throw him a surprise party. So that's basically what's happening in this video. And I am very excited to film it. I think I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But this is going to be a video that is a two-week shoot as opposed to a one-week shoot. But basically what that means is, usually it only takes me a few days to a week to film one video. But every now and then I write a script that has so many different characters and so many different scenes. And because of that, it has the potential to be a really strong and amazing video. But, I might be a little too busy during the week to get it done in just a few short days, so we stretch the filming process out over the course of two weeks. And I'm a little bit sad that I'm doing that, because whenever we do that, that does mean that one week goes by that no video is released, which I'm kind of sad about, but I also think that because we're spending so much time on this video, the quality is going to be even better in the ending. So I can't wait to film this video. I think that it's really funny and it, it has a really strong story and it has very strong jokes. So I think that this is going to be a great video. So without further ado, let's get started. But that day has now come. And that sounded so mysterious. Uh, I'm here because I got too many parking tickets. This sounds so obnoxious. Uh, yeah, but I like to create an awesome backstory for myself to feel- And you cannot see my face right now. Nah, that's above my pay grade. And I forget the rest of my line. What? Are you serious? You see I'm in handcuffs, and, and, and I forget the rest of my line. And here are the keys for that. And I don't like how I presented that. This was- Weird. Yes, it is, but sir, unfortunately, you are badly mistaken. I'm not here for your birthday. I'm here because I got too many parking tickets, so they suspended my license, but I convinced my friend to let me borrow his car. I'm moving my hand so much. How is that something that happened? I said that too fast. Wait, what? That, that was way too much. I am so sorry you actually had to see that. You can't be serious! I forget the rest of my line. No, you're gonna spend your days walking free, and if you don't like that, then maybe you should have thought of that before you didn't do anything. I don't know why I'm doing this with my head. You will be if the kid who plays Steve Urkel doesn't show up. That is way too serious. <sighs> These are the guys in the FBI? And that sounded so sad. Can I please just have like a half hour at your at your, bleh, bleh. What's the occasion? And that is way too much. What? But you seem a little too old to have your... And this is sounding very judgmental. An FBI agent who says these uses is blue. Oh, why didn't you just say that? And I do not like how I did that. Really? By any chance is the agent's name Ian? And that sounded too mysterious. Yep. Every other day he comes in with a new criminal. And I forget the rest of my line. I gotta go. And that was too much. Hey Chuck, do you notice something different about me? I do not like how I did that. How are my taxes paying your salary? But. I have evidence that one of your agents, Ian to be exact, is letting criminals walk free. I'm moving my hands way too much. That is a terrible thing to be telling complete strangers about, but having met him today, I would think so. And I don't like how I did that. So what about him? Did another one of his- And that is way too much. Please stop telling me about his very traumatic past. 
That was way too angry. Chuck E. Cheese, that's where I had my wedding. I'm gonna text my wife, she'll be so thrilled. And I don't know what this was. Sir, please take this seriously. And that was too whiny. You're right. I'm not the one paying. And I did not like how I did that. That's probably gonna cost... I don't know why I did this. <laughs> wow. I can't believe people actually came to my 107th birthday this year. <laughs> and I forget the rest of my line. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Ian. Of course none of us care about you! That sounded way too angry. <gasps> Sir, that is the nicest thing, and this is way too much. Please stop talking to me. We're in public, and you know the rules. And I do not like how I did that. Ugh. I am stuffed. I don't know why I said it like that. Alright, Ian, you can clean out your plates and then you can head... I called him Ian by accident. When I'm Ian, and he's Chuck. But I gave you a surprise party with free chocolate cake and free pizza and... And I don't know the rest of my line. But it wasn't enough. As you may recall, I requested Steve Urkel show up. And this sounds way too angry. But I got your entire borough here. That's nothing any of your other convicts were able to do. I'm moving my hands way too much. Sucks to be me is not a reason to throw someone in federal prison. Please, sir, I have a wife and kids. And that was not intense enough. You know, Ian, that was pretty rad. And that sounded pretty weird. You can buy my friends another round of celebratory pizzas and then head to your car. But hey, the I said your car and not my car, but I'm the one who should be taking them in. You know, you're my last customer for tonight. So eat this up so I can go home! Thank you, sir! That was way too much. You just dropped my my plate. I was supposed to say broke my plate. Did I do that? That sounded southern. Yes. Yes, you did. And now I'm gonna need your name for insurance. And I got way too mad there. Oh, my. And that did not sound good. <gasps> no way. I used to love Full House. I do not like how I did that at all. So right now we are filming the party scene, and the party ended up being wildly unsuccessful. As you could see, literally nobody showed up, so I will be celebrating all by myself. So... All the food's for me! Being lonely is the best! So that is a wrap on the surprise party. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all loved this video as much as I loved making it because I think that this video ended up being really funny in the ending and I'm so proud of it and I hope that you are all as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye! Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this week's new skit. To see the main video, then watch the surprise party. And to see the previous skit, then watch David Muir interviews Joe Biden and the behind the scenes for that interview with Joe, uh, you know, the guy behind the scenes. All of the links for these videos will be in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye! I gotta be honest guys, the plots of my videos are starting to get crazier and crazier and I mean that in a good way. Kind of. Bye.